Hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to be having a look at the KBS08 Bluetooth speaker by Betron. The Betron KBS08, as you can see, comes in this lovely presentation box. Runs on Bluetooth 3.0 and it's marketed as a product designed to provide high quality wireless sound for your iPad, iPhone, iPod, computer, PDA or other Bluetooth audio devices. Produces an amazing sound for music, movies, games and gatherings. On the back of the box we've got some specifications. As you can see the dimensions uh, are all 63 millimeters on every side. Weighs in at just 230 grams. Speaker size is 45 millimeters and outputs at 3 watts. Takes just 2 hours to charge on 5 volts and that will give you approximately 4 hours of playtime for anything up to 10 meters in distance does support smartphones, laptops, tablets, trans flash cards and micro SD. It has a built in lithium ion rechargeable battery, incredible sound quality and a small footprint, wireless Bluetooth technology which means you can enjoy music anywhere and anytime. Having a look inside the box and we can see that there are some accessories under a small cardboard flap. First out is a USB cable. This is a dual purpose cable. The first purpose is for you to be able to charge the speaker. You also see that there is a 3.5mm headphone jack on the cable as well and that enables you to play sound from a USB enabled device. Second out is the very brief instruction manual and lastly we have a 3.5mm to 3.5mm headphone cable and this will enable you to play sound from anything that has a headphone port on. And lastly we have the speaker itself. Okay, so now we turn the speaker on using the small sliding button on the side and the lower ring lights up blue. Enter to Bluetooth. And you get this audible warning which indicates that it's in Bluetooth mode. You then connect it to your device. Bluetooth connected. And you get this warning once the device is connected. Now the Betron speaker has two rings of LED lights and as you can see the one on the base extends from the front all the way around the circumference of the speaker right back round to the front again. And as you can see, there is a second ring on top of the speaker. Now these two LED rings uh, do change color when sound is coming out of the speaker. And you can see that happening here as the lights change from blue to red to green and back to blue again. And you can see that that happens on the ring of lights on top of the speaker as well. It's a nice subtle change as uh, they gradually change from blue to red to green and then back to blue again. So now we can have a look at the other modes which are included with the speaker and a press of the mode button reveals that uh, there is actually a built-in radio. Enter radio in plane. Now you can change the channel using the plus and minus buttons or you can pause the action using the play or pause button. However, despite frantic button pushes by myself, I couldn't pick up any radio stations so I'm not entirely sure how that system works. And now the final mode is the auxiliary mode. You can access that by pushing the mode button. Enter aux in playing. We then get that warning or you can enter the mode by inserting a lead into the headphone socket or into the USB port. Okay so now what I'm going to do is show you what the sound quality of the speaker is like and I'm going to push my blue Yeti microphone attached to my computer down to the uh, top of the speaker so you guys can see what the sound quality is like. <laughs> Well, to say I'm impressed is an understatement, certainly for a speaker that cost me £11. I'm really, really impressed with the sound that this uh, speaker puts out. Bearing in mind this is a mobile Bluetooth speaker. We're going to weigh it just to see how much it does weigh. And yeah, it does weigh 235 grams, so it's about 5 grams over what the box says. Now, I'm seriously impressed with this speaker, with its three input modes, various ways to connect to your devices. It's got a seriously good build quality, a very very good sound and the only thing that I think lets it down is that when you do play something relatively bassy, as you can see in this video the speaker tends to bounce around when on a shiny surface. That being said I think you'll be hard pushed to find something which beats this, certainly for £11 on Amazon. If you guys are interested in the Beatron speaker then you can click here on the video and it will take you through to the Amazon site where you'll be able to purchase one for yourself. 
And just before we go, one little extra gem that I found when ordering my speaker was this little carry case, and it fits the Beatron KBS08 perfectly. There's even enough room in the top for you to put a couple of the leads, and it will protect the speaker from the elements from dust, uh, UV rays, and a little bit of moisture whilst you're travelling with the uh, speaker in its carry case. Well, that's it for now, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you like the video, please remember to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time when we're back with another review.